Hi, I'm Brandon with Redstone Solar. In this video, I'll be showing you how to read your Rocky Mountain Power net meter. For this area with Rocky Mountain Power and Pacific Corp, your meter is going to flash three different screens. Grab yourself a pen, grab yourself a piece of paper. Let's go ahead and do some math. Blank, it's gonna say 14 and then 24. Go ahead and write down those two screens. Pull out um, the calculator. The difference between these two numbers is uh, negative 7,694. Um, Basically what this is telling you is lifetime since this meter was installed, how many kilowatt hours you have used from the grid is 14 and what you have given back to the power company is 24. A good way to remember this if you get confused which one is which, 14 is smaller than the number 24. So you want your usage to be smaller than your export credit. That's gonna give you a good idea that you're producing all the power that you need and sending back um, some extra to the grid for a reduced export credit or for um, later consumption. Go ahead and take a break for a minute and then come back and take a look at these numbers. And there we have it, 36,807. We wrote down 36,806. And so the last couple minutes, we have exported another kilowatt hour back to the grid. We can also see there's a little analog bar lights up to the side. It'll either go left or it will go to the right. If it's going to the right, you are using power from the power company. If it is going to the left, you are giving the power company power. If you don't have monitoring set up on your system, you can come out to your meter and you can check these numbers. And then if you write them down and if you keep track, you can see it producing more than I'm um, you know, consuming from the power company. If this was helpful information, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll be releasing frequent content 